like this. It's probably my favorite within the museum so far. It's probably the coolest exhibit I've ever seen. <laughs> it came as a surprise. I sure didn't expect this today. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's kind of a cool gate. But then you look at it and you realize that it's made of fabric. It looks kind of 3D in a way, and it is 3D. You actually walk through it. It makes you think that art doesn't have to be just like a sculpture or a painting. I think this is what an art museum should be showing. So I'll tell you a little bit about the animation, because this is really where Doho started with this project. He wanted to somehow capture the notion of Asian painting and the importance of a brush stroke, a single brush stroke. That's where Doho started, was a single brush stroke, and then everything is born from there. And then that single brush stroke becomes another brush stroke and another brush stroke. They start to take shape and take form, and you realize that they are the crows from the crow screen, and it's really so cool. He's also done some time-lapse photography of his father's original gate. So the, he went to his father's house in Seoul and did this time-lapse photography so that captured the, the sunlight and the play of light and dark on the gate itself. And then they've overlaid this onto the fabric gate. And Doho is really interested in the notion of illusion versus reality. So it's this play, you know, you can't quite tell what is the real gate, what is the elusive gate. It's pretty incredible. It takes you on a journey. I actually feel it's very authentic. It reminds me of a few places that I've been to. It reminds me of Korea a lot. It's an experience. The whole thing is spectacular and so beautiful. It was excitement and changes and colors. I like it because it's beautiful. <laughs>